Hello, Wolf Fan. Welcome to part six of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. You know, I just unlocked t like th two new characters. So it, it was Juggernaut, Sentinel, and now Magneto. Man, I am stoked to play them. We got Roll, Sun Sun, and Jin. So, ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh damn, Juggernaut, you're hardcore. Hey, it's me, so I did. You just don't see it yet. Oh, three. Ow, ow, ow. Begin again. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, come on. You ruined my moment, Doom. Dang it, Doom. You ruined my moment. My God. You know, the first time I played this, it was in the arcades, but also I had a friend who had a, an old friend of mine. I mean, he let me play the, the PS2 for the first time, and um, when I played the... Um, the fighting game that I was playing on the PS2 was Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And it was sounded different on how I s remember it. I don't know if it was the game or it was the my friend's TV TV sound. I just don't know what it was to be honest. But it was like, for example, Raiden wins flawless victory, like Raiden or. Kano wins flawless victory. 
I mean, the, all the characters were there, but when I first had it on my own, I mean, I had to unlock them, so it was not so easy to get them all. I mean, I, I mean, the first time I saw all of them, I never, I didn't know who they are and what were their backstories until much later. Until much later, I uh, started to understand more and more about the Mortal Kombat legacy and its lore as well. So I started to to get attached towards more and more of every um, well each character on Mortal Kombat that I liked, and but. Uh, the second time I purchased, well, the second time I played Mortal Kombat was, was, um, was Mortal Kombat Deception. That was my second game I played. And when I got, uh, the other games of it, like the other Mortal Kombat games, it was Mortal Kombat Armageddon and Shaolin Monks. I mean, Armageddon, however, when I pl first played that game, oh man, it was something out of this world. Oh, I was, I had this eagerness to like play it so badly. I don't know why, it just, I was getting, getting into, into more and more of the games of Mortal Kombat. And uh, Shaolin Monks, however, it, it, it felt like a new story to me. It was like a new beginning to me. I feel like it was like an after game towards all of the other ones, but that's how that's how I felt when I first played uh, Shaolin Monks. I am supreme. <laughs> Magneto said, I am supreme. His voice sounded so different. Not like... Um, not like the ones in, in the movies. He's, I mean, I mean, like, you're supposed to have like an elderly man voice, not like the maniac or, or something like that. So later on, as I continue playing more and more of Mortal Kombat games, I mean, I mean, I was stoked. I mean, I still love them to this day. And to be honest, I am. I, um, I, you know, in, in arcades, however, I never knew if they were ever going to talk, like, back in the old days, I mean, I didn't know if they were ever going to talk or, like, speak, like, until much later on, I mean, in, like, in home consoles, I mean, like, the PS2, for example. I mean, I was still new to the whole when I got into video games in the first place. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first video games were my first video games were the Nintendos. I mean, the Nintendo is what got me into it in the first place. Like Super Mario Bros. or Dog Hunt or Ice Climbers, those were the the NES classics I played as part of my childhood. As my first video games and. 
And then that's where I got my first PlayStation 1. Then after my PlayStation 1, I had my GameCube, which is <laughs> another part of my childhood. And I still have my GameCube games to this day. I still have them with me. I mean, I don't have a console of it. I mean, I have the games. I just don't have the console, however. I mean, um... <clears throat> I mean, I had a lot of PS1 games back in the day. I mean, in my elementary school days. I mean, I used to have a ton of PS1 games. Like, a lot. Same with the NES. I mean, the Nite I mean, I have an uncle who's got a ton of collection of the NES. And it looks like I gave it to him because he knew how to take good care of them. So, it was a big... He's still a big gamer fan, so... But Street Fighter is a specialty. Juggernaut, Strider, and Zangief. Oh, goody. And later... Oh, goody. Go black and orange. Haha! <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah? Do you want to play rough? Okay. Juggernaut wins. <laughs> <laughs> Mission completed. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, 
Oh man, this is not gonna be easy without Juggernaut. Without Juggernaut, I messed up. God, John, you crazy No! No, no, no! No! Gotch! So yeah, but as I was saying, those were those are my origin gameplay gameplays on how I started to get into video games in the first place. I mean, I had a lot of cool games in the past. Like I had a lot of PS good, pretty good PS One games. Oh man, I never had Crash Bandicoot. I mean, I've always wanted to get my hands on that one. I mean, it's it looks really fun. I mean, just like in the Game Boy Advance. I mean, oh man, that one, that one, it was pretty good. Uh, Castlevania, however, uh, well, Castlevania. I mean, I never knew much about it. I mean, until I started to get more and more into it, what was really about how everything started with the Belmonts fighting Dracula and all that. And every other single video game, you know. I might put those three next. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. So that way I'll keep up, with, uh, keep you guys updated more. So. Do 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 do. -do. Yeah. Oh wait, is another line, never mind. A H A. <laughs> no. All right. Oh yeah, we'll back. I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. So take care, and we'll out.